Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Leon and I hope you had a great day so far. On this YouTube channel I want to document my very first interrail trip. So let's start right away. In March of 2022 my girlfriend Sandy and I traveled through Scandinavia by train using an interrail travel pass. This video is all about the travel route we chose. But why Scandinavia in the first place? I'm an amateur landscape photographer and I really like impressive landscapes, so Scandinavia is ideal to go on the hunt for some great photos. In addition, you can see the northern lights if you are lucky. And this was always a dream for me and now is the time to go and actually, hopefully, see them. On this journey, the way is the goal. So it's all about meeting interesting people, seeing beautiful places and just create some great memories. We start in Berlin, in the middle of Europe, so we have a quite long way to go, but also interesting stops ahead. Let's start with an overview of the route. Here you can see our route. We call it the Scandinavian loop because it's in Scandinavia and it's a loop, quite obvious. We want to spend a lot of time in the north so we can increase our chance of seeing the northern lights. So we will not spend as much time in the cities, but rather in the nature in the north. The first stop along the route will be Copenhagen and we start very early in the morning so we arrive there at noon after a 7 hour trip by train and we have one stop in between, it's Hamburg for transitioning. Then we will stay two nights in Copenhagen and do some sightseeing. We have a very nice hostel in the city center and then the next stop is coming up which is Stockholm, the capital city of Sweden. In Stockholm, we will stay for one night and the next train is leaving the next day in the evening. So we have one and a half days for sightseeing and looking around in Stockholm. Yes, you listen correctly. The next train is leaving in the evening. This is because it's a night train. And it takes us to Abisko in the north of Sweden. The train ride will take 16 and a half hours. We booked a sleeping compartment and can sleep in the train and have a nice rest along the way. Abisko is one of the best spots on the planet to see the northern lights. This is because of the mountain range west of Abisko, which is blocking most of the bad weather, so the probability of having clear skies is way higher in Abisko than for example in Kiruna. We will stay there for five days, so we have a lot of chances to see the northern lights. Since Abisko is located well above the Arctic Circle, it's relatively cold over there. Even at the end of March, when we travel, the temperatures won't rise above zero degrees Celsius, even at day. At night, we have around minus eight to minus 10 degrees Celsius. This is cold, but also offers some great opportunities for activities. For example, you can go dog sledding or go on a snowshoe hike, do some ice climbing or have fun at the snowmobile tour, just to name a few things. This is where things get a little bit tricky. Our interrail pass includes seven travel days in one month. And since we have a lot of uh, stops and a lot of kilometers left to reach Berlin again, uh, we decided to go off the interrail pass for the next stop and do it without the interrail pass. From Abisko we take the train to Narvik in Norway. And from there we take the bus to the legendary Lofoten Islands. This is a dream location for photographers and nature lovers. And we spent there five days in a nice Airbnb in Leknes. The public transport on the Lofoten Island exists, but it's not really great, especially if you want to catch the ferries, which are leaving early in the morning. So I think the first ferry takes off at six and then at seven and the first bus comes at eight. So you won't reach the ferries. And this is why we rent a car to get around. Then we leave the Lofoten Islands with an express boat, which is some kind of faster ferry and reach Bodø, Bodo, I don't know. Norwegians, please tell me in the comments how to spell it correctly. In Bodo, we only have one day without a night. We will leave with the train in the evening and now we are using our interrail pass again. So we have a day of sightseeing and then move on to Trondheim, which is our next stop. In Trondheim, although it's said to be a very nice city, we only have two hours of transitioning for our next train. We will come back to Trondheim again with another trip. The next train takes us to Andersnes. I hope I say it correctly. Andersnes will be another stop for us. And 
just to relax and go hiking, seeing a nice nature. We will stay there for three days in a nice Airbnb. This is the last stop in Norway and we move on back home. To get back home, we uh, planned another stop in Sweden, which is Göteborg. We will stay there for two nights, do some sightseeing, just relax a bit. That's it. Then we go back home after three weeks of traveling and reach Berlin again. This was an overview of our Scandinavian Loop travel. I hope you liked the video and please consider subscribing if you want uh, to see more of the trip and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss a new video. You can also follow me on Instagram at leoadventures like the channel name. Over there you can see some posts and photos of the trip. Please leave a comment. Um, I try my best to answer them all and until then, see you next time.